what's up youtube uh, i'll go by the name of dj odyssey and today we're going i'm going to show you actually i'm going to show you how, how how i did um what do you call this um umlilo but not like umlilo like how to make a beat like umlilo by djs in clay featuring Rotavi and mazo shout out to them uh it's a very dope song um i'm just trying to if you are a producer and you're trying to make such music yourself, um, uh, this is this is how you're going to be able to do it. Uh, let me play you what I have now, like from here. Uh, let me say from here until to this last part so that you can hear how the song actually sounds like. So let's hear this. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> As you can see, um, it sounds more like umlilo. It's not umlilo, but it sounds more like umlilo. Uh, like the production behind it, the elements that they used. I just added my own things. And I think I've added something that will come from um, Dark Wins Anthony by Dark Music as well. Like that Paul, 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 you know. Like you can actually make music out of listening to what other people's music are making, you know. <laughs> Yeah, man, that English was rotten. But you can make music from what other people have already done. You just give it your own feel. And but I'm not saying you make something like this exactly. This is not. This is this people will still feel like it's only you know. But basically, let's try to break it down. Let's go to the drums. Uh, let's go to pattern here, and then let me show you the drums. Let me play you the drums. So basically, you have a kick. Um, I came in like this, and then I have these percussions here. Um, these are my percussions. Uh, these percussions are made my own. Uh, I had to chop there and there to actually get these percussions. Um, I'm trying to build my own. What do we call this? My own uh, sample pack. Uh, yeah. Or well, one day you're gonna get it. So I'm still building it so that it can become like a real house symbol pack. Not the other ones that I'm getting out there. Like you can, but the, like you can actually listen to this percussions with this and you can already make a house, uh, a ho Afro house beat fast. Listen to this. And we got that. And then after that, um, I had a snare here that I added. And a little tom here. The tom comes, and the tom comes from uh, these um, what do you call this JE sample pack. Um, that's what everybody's using lately. And then this is how the drums actually sound like. And then what I did, and what I did was add um, a crash. That's on the second pattern. Sounds like this. Okay, fine. And now we cool, and we can go to the next pattern. Um, let's remove the solo. So the next pattern is the bass line. For the bass line, I use trillion because trillion, oh, like it also has these things. What do you call this? Like your your bass lines, which are more live in a way. But anyway, you can use any sub bars you can get, or you can get the bass guitar anyway. Like um, so I think I use something that most people don't really use, but this is a cool bass, uh, bass VST. 
and the bass line sounds like this. changes and goes like as you can hear there's nothing like special to this like you can use any sub bars that you get and then what you do um when you have a sub bars you can put like a fruity fast uh, it's a distortion like you just it will, you just reduce the threshold and then just put it somewhere here or just increase it until you can hear it, your bass in the song like like if you want your sub to become like your bass and you want people to hear your sub and as your bass as well so you just put uh, a distortion so that you it can it can sound better um yeah so that you can hear it like not that you can just you know like a sub sometimes it's just a sound that's like behind the song and then you cannot really hear it but if you put some distortion on the song um you can actually hear hear that so for this i used easy keys um um it, uh, to, like for cuts and then this is how they sound like Um, wait a minute. Mm, let me put the song here because at the beginning it has um, what I mean, an automation. So here it doesn't. So you can play this now. All right, pattern. Yeah, man, and that's basically how how your keys sound like, and with some EQs on it, and then you can actually get it to sound like this. You just use um electric piano, like most people use the Mark One. So try to find a Mark One if you don't have easy keys. Try to find like any, like normally I use Contact Five. Uh, there's um there's a there, there's a there's there's a library with, with keys in it, so yeah, and then I used to expand for like the marimba sound, like but I used the vibraphone this time for so you can either use a marimba, a kalimba, a vibraphone, celeste, those type of sounds, and then you can actually get this famous sound that came from um, umlilo, like uh, how it sounds. Yeah, man, it sounds easy. Um, there's nothing special to it as well. It's just and then you have a very nice uh, song as well. Nice, nice melody. It's like the melody to the song. And the next pattern, I also used expand. Uh, I, uh, for me, I just added like this piano just to get like this. Some kind of variation. You know, I love variations. Um, so you just have it here, and then it goes. And that's how easy it is. This has a phaser on it, and then so that it just be different from everything else. And then the next pattern, uh, use Nexus. I know everybody loves Nexus, and then that's the guitar. That's that's my favorite guitar when I'm in Nexus. And then otherwise, I use trailing for some guitars so for now it's like a uh, guitar thin jazz guitar and uh, so uh most plugins have jazz guitar and uh, so you can just use it uh, mostly you can either use like a mute guitar as well and it will sound nice so this is how mine sounds like mm -hmm. 
As you can see, it's not too special as well. What it does is just gives it like a little favor and it can kind of back up the vibraphone, the marimba, whatever, if whatever that you used, uh, which will sound nicer, you know what I mean? So the guitar is just giving it like a little flavor. And then the beat is not complicated. The next pattern is their ball, like. And this sound, for me, I, I kind of remember hearing it on, I just went after making the beat, that's when I was like, hey, this sound sounds like um, that knock music, that goes on Tony with Blue Air. And yeah, I just used a brush from, from Nexus, like uh, a brush stack one. And then I just added a little reverb on it and then killed the release a little bit. And then it sounded how we sounded. And then I think that's the last sound we have. And then I just, the next thing was that I did not talk about is the shaker. The shaker sounds like that. Yeah, then you have a shaker. And that's how the simple arrangement will sound like now. And what I did on the piano, I put uh, an automation. Uh, where's the piano, the cut, and I put a little automation with, what you call this, with an EQ, and I'll be cutting from the highs, and then it sounded like, and then the song would sound like this now. You see how it goes up, and that's when the, the keys will go up as well. Yeah, man, and I think that's it. Wasting any more time, man. Yo, remember, subscribe to my channel, man. There's more coming. And if there's something that you don't understand on this song, uh, let me know and I'll break it down more fast.